All right, I'm gonna show you how to type click handlers in React and also the use ref hook in React with this one. And if we look here at our application, it's working pretty well. But now I'm gonna add a little input field here and a button where we can actually type in the number of self of the character that we want to fetch. So what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna move this inline click handler here into a function instead. So I'm gonna create an arrow function, const handle button click equal. Then we have the event for this one. And this is how you type the event. We have from React something that's called a mouse event in this case. So if you had a keyboard event, you can use that. Or if you have a touch event, you use that. So you have a lot of events in React that you can specify here for your callback and the events. But in this case, it's a mouse event. So that's what I'm going to use. And this is a generic, so we can be more specific here. This is going to be from an HTML button element. You could leave it out and just have it uh, loose type, so to say, with a mouse event. But in this case, we're telling TypeScript that this is specifically going to be from a button element. And it's going to return void. It's going to return nothing because this is a callback. Uh, and inside here, we're going to console log out the event and current target. I'm not going to use the actual event in this uh, function here because I just have it here to show you how to type it. But we are going to use a ref to set the character ID. Set character ID. I'm going to convert it into a number. And from my input ref, I'm going to have the current value and the value. And this will, of course, not work now because I haven't created that ref yet. So I'm going to move up here and create my input ref, const input ref. It's going to be a react.useRef, like this. I'm going to move back to it soon. But first, I'm going to change some stuff here on the button itself. So first, I'm going to change to my handle button click. And then I'm going to change this text here to get character, like this. And then I'm going to add an input field, input type text. And I'm going to reference it to the ref that I created, input ref. So this is what they call an uncontrolled component in React. And now you can see that it complains here. So something isn't right. It's, it's not assignable to type legacy, blah, 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 undefined. And that is because we have to type this ref also. So this is also generic. So it's going to be of the type HTML input element like this, and this is fine there, but it still complains here now, down here. And that is because when we use TypeScript, we have to initialize this with null, and then it will go away. It won't complain here anymore. So very important, initialize it with null. And then here, it will say that this can possibly be, possibly be null, and then we use the optional chaining on the current value, like this. And this should be it. Let's see so it, that it works also. So instead here, we have to type in the value here, five, for example. And it seems to be working, so that's sweet. And of course, we can't just type in an enum, it will break the application, but that's fine for now. Uh, I'm just uh, showing some TypeScript here, so I'm not telling you that this is gonna be a fully working application. Um, all right, so let's reload that. So what I've done here is that I created the click handler, handle button click. I typed the event as a React mouse event and an HTML button element because this event is from a button. And I set the return type to void as we don't return anything here. And as you can see here also, the current target, yeah, we can check so that works. Yeah, the current target is the button here, of course. So that seems to be working. And then I created a ref up here. I typed the ref with this generic. The ref is of the type HTML input element because I attached the ref to the input element down here. So this one will always have the value of that input element. And it's very important to initialize it with null, otherwise TypeScript will complain. So that's how you type your use ref hook in React. And also how you type your click event handler. This could be any event, and then you just change this mouse event 
And I actually have a list of them here. So you have the animation event, change event, uh, clipboard event, composition event, drag event, focus event, form event, keyboard event, mouse event, pointer event, touch event, transition event, wheel event, and synthetic event for all other events. So you can check that out if you want to learn about every individual click event. Otherwise, let's move on.